everyone. My name is Mikami Toshihiko, a science teacher. I want to inspire new scientific pleasure onto your mind from Aomori City. Today's theme is super cooling with the bucket. Water generally freezes just at zero degrees, but if you don't vibrate water, it would keep a state of liquid below zero. I want to use no refrigerator but the bucket to make super cooling. Are you ready? Firstly, you put a salt solution into this bucket and set a mixture of pieces of ice and some salt onto it. Then you have to make it about minus 2 degrees. Pour water with a little air into a jam jar and put the lid on it. Good luck, my water. You can use tap water so you don't need pure one in this. You have to set this into the bucket of a salt solution which has been keeping minus 2 degrees centigrade. Leave it be for about 20 minutes in order to cool this jar and all till a little below zero. You can see a state in the jar through the bucket at any time. Two thirds of the water in the bucket is a salt solution while one third is some pieces of ice and salt. Mixture of ices and salt is the so-called cooling bath mixture that is a mixture used in the laboratory when low temperatures are needed. If the pieces of ice were added salt exactly, it could be about 21 degrees below zero. How cold! The salt solution has the property of so-called freezing point depression that is a phenomenon that the freezing point of water is dropped some degrees below zero when something like salt is added. That is why this salt solution can be 2 degrees below zero. The upper part in the bucket makes the lower part 2 degrees below zero. So salt solution keeps the jar a little below zero. So the ices must not touch the jar directly. When you will have passed 20 minutes, you have to take out this jar from the bucket and you have to shake it. Then you shall set it in the bucket again and lower the temperature of the salt solution till it's 4 degrees below zero. You will have to keep it super cooling for 15 minutes. It's difficult to control the temperature. If you want to lower the temperature, you should put some salt on the ices while you add some ices. If you want to raise the temperature, you can take out some ices with a ladle. Now 15 minutes have passed since it had been shaken, you take out it very carefully. It's very cold. It doesn't seem to freeze. Give it only one shaking strongly. It's the clear liquid. Here we go. Ready, set, go! Look! Crystals of the water are appearing inside, spreading quickly. The inside water have changed into ice. Oh, it's great!
seems to be growing harder. You may look inside. Jags of crystal have been made. You may touch it. It's soft into the touch, making cracky sounds. How many degrees? It's 0.3, that is no longer below zero. If it were to be cooled too long, it would become ice in the bucket. If it were to be much below zero, it would freeze in the bucket. Having failed it, it might be fun watching a change to the whole ice. Try again. You need a bucket. I had used the one which is 10 liters, preferably it's transparent. A jam jar, 200 milliliters jar, will take 15 minutes to keep minus 4 degrees after the first shaking, but 400 milliliters one will take 20 minutes to do. Pieces of ice which is for a party I might have consumed about 3 kilograms. Salt, maybe 1 kilograms about to steer some salt into the water. You always need a digital thermometer. Thank you for today. Generally speaking, we have believed a long cylinder like a tube was better for super cooling. But with the bucket, a short jar is better because the ice couldn't touch the lid of the jar. If you have been moved by my video, a miracle has come on your mind. See you next time, I'll give you new Mikami's miracle.